Okay, welcome to this uh, video on Yuhi Zebra. I'm just going to show you how to create this little lead sound here. A little plucky number. Just like a little pizzy pluck. Okay, so let's get right into it. Here's the Zebra. First thing I'm going to do is go to Patches. Local and initialize the patch. So, and I'll just copy this down so I don't have to keep tapping on stuff. So, so we're just going to start with a basic saw wave. So, we've got a basic oscillator, and we're starting with a most basic settings really. This is a single oscillator, so we've got the and what we're going to do is we're going to use um, some vibrato, probably about there, in the envelope. Uh, the LFO controls the vibrato, but we're going to change that to a quarter note and put that to gate so that it re-triggers. Um, maybe increase the rate a little bit, and we could put some aftertouch in here for the amplitude. I can't really show you that at the moment because I don't have a MIDI keyboard but obviously how hard you touch will depend on how hard this triggers. So we can just leave it at that for the moment. I'm just going to go into the mixer and turn the volume right up. So that's really our oscillator settings done. We're going to use some modulation for the wave in a minute. We'll probably use an MSEG for that or maybe not. We might not even need it. We might use the LFO. We'll see what happens. But what I am going to do is I'm going to change, go to oscillator 1 and change the Geo Morph to Geo Blend so we can draw in our wave. Now you could come in here and select some of the, one of the uh, the waves in here, which I'm not really sure if there's anything that will kind of cover the sort of thing that I want. No, not really. So I'm just going to initialize it again. And if we go to Geo Blend, it'll put everything flat. And I'm just going to press play. Now what I'm looking for is a kind of high pitched but kind of squeaky, not so squeaky, but kind of midi range type sound. Okay, that'll do. And then I'm going to come up to the end here and I'm just going to draw on a more kind of classic sine wave type wave and then I'm going to come down here right click oh sorry go there right click and hit morph and I'm just going to morph the two between each other so let's hear what that sounds like okay that sounds cool now you could use some of the oscillator presets as well but I'd rather just do it like this personally so now what I'm going to do is now that I've got a basic oscillator set up I'm going to add a filter just a basic VCF1 and I'm going to leave it on low pass excite I'm going to drop the cut off and what I'm going to use is a multi-stage envelope generator to control the resonance so this one here so I'm just going to change that to MSEG1 and turn it all the way up so we can't hear anything at the moment because there's nothing going on but I may use a preset in here. Let's have a look. Let's use Pluck Easy. Where's it gone? Right, there we go. It's just a, a basic curve. So let's hear. Right, so you can hear it's kind of clicky. Okay, so as you can hear, that's what that's done, let me just hide this channel, that's okay. Right, so what that's done is just bouncing the resonance. Okay, so it's, 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 it's a weird kind of clicky at the moment. I think probably the reason for that is this section here, the key follow. If I put the key follow all the way up to 100, it means it's going to be working in semi-tones. That's better. 
So that's what we want. Now this is just kind of bouncing off the resonance there. And we can mess around some more. We could have, like, I guess, the oscillator here. We can move this. So if I was to put that in the middle. And let's use LF01 to control the wave. Turn it all the way up, see what happens. So the LFO, depending on the depth and the rate and stuff, is moving up and down the wavetable at the moment. There's not really that much sound difference anyway. Something I did forget to do was vibrato. CF back on. Um, what should we do with this? Let's go back to us a later one, put the resolution all the way up. Normalize it to make it a bit louder. Sounds okay then, I guess. Okay, and we'll leave it on LP Excite, I like that. Now you could use Drive at this point if you wanted to. To make it a little bit fiercer. But in this instance I don't really want to do that because I'm going to be messing around with some other settings in a moment. I'm going to go to Global though and I'm going to start adding some effects. I'm going to add um, the Mod Effects and leave it on Chorus, but I'm going to mess around with the settings. It's too big, I just want it mixing in a little bit. on and put the high frequency up and boost it a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to add an EQ and simply just to attenuate or to increase the kind of um, high end and maybe a little bit around here somewhere. Again, all the time making it pluckier and, well not so much pluckier, but ma uh, making it higher pitched because we'll, we'll mess around with the pluckiness up here in a moment. Bit of reverb never hurt anyone. And a bit of delay, why not? But I'll just leave it on the stereo. You could put it on multi-tap 4. I'm just going to leave it on stereo too, but I'm going to change this one to probably 8 dot. Okay, I think that's sounding pretty good myself. Now, it's actually quite close to finish now. You know, you don't you don't have to really do that much to get that nice sound. But what you can do is is now mess around with the uh, uh, decay and sustain to get it really plucky. Maybe we we'll increase the attack a little bit just so that we don't get any clicks. Listen now. going to change that to V-slope and make it fast so the envelope's working as fast as possible. I kind of like it there. And you can also mess around with their fall and rise. So... If I put Lupe in there, and in fact we don't want to use that in this instance, so you can just kind of leave it falling a little bit I suppose.
there you go you can do whatever you want with it it's up to you but that's it that's just a little basic so if I play that And, of course, for effect, we can just add some automation in. And Cubase's case, it's relatively easy to, let's just, yeah, we can mix the sustain in, why not? Okay, so that's the cutoff. I guess we could ramp the sustain up. What else could we mess around with? Reverb and delay amounts, perhaps. Sustain. Oh, I thought that, that mix was sustained. Oh, no, that's the... That will be the mix. Oh, what is that the mix of? That's got to be... Let's have a look. Zebra 2. Right, I tell you what. We'll just cut off. We'll get the delay mix. Delay 1 mix. OK. We'll just ramp that right up. Uh, Zebra 2 sustain, yeah, we could mess around with that, I suppose. Cut off could maybe be like that. Let's hear. Just added the, Z, uh, the the wet amount for the reverb there as well. So let's have a wee listen. So that sounded a bit odd at the end there because some things jumped down and whatnot, but we could have left that up. That probably sustained. Did we do the yeah that was it there? So yeah, one more. So there you go, that's how to make a little pizzy kind of type trans type pluck using Zebra. And of course, once you've done it, hit save, uh, trans pizzy pluck, MNG, make sure you save it in the right place. So marks, patches, okay, job done. Okay, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye now.